we'll guide you through how to download and install Lightmatica schematics in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you need to open up a web browser, so I'll use Google Chrome, and then you need to go to a search engine like Google. And what we need to do is search up for Lightmatica. So type in L-I-T-E-M-A-T-I-C-A. And go and search for it like so, and you want to go to CurseForge. This is the trusted site for Minecraft mods, so go and click on it. And just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting is my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features, like 24 seven servers and support. So if you've got any problems, you can get in contact with them. You've got instant setup, one click mod packs and many other features as well. If you're interested, we'll put a link in the description and the pinned comments. And at the moment, you can go and get 50% off monthly plans as well. On the Lightmatica page on CurseForge, go along the row of options and click on files. Scroll down and you can see all these different files for Lightmatica. But what we want to do is just get the most recent version, unless you're on an older version for whatever reason. So you can see the game version just here, and you can also see the mod loader. So make sure it's got fabric, which this one has, and it's for 1.20.2. Just note that down sort of mentally as we'll need that in a moment. And then click on the three dots on the far right and click on download file. The download then should shortly begin. After it's downloaded, open up a new tab. And the next thing we need to do is get something called Marley Lib. So you type that in M-A-L-I-L-I-B like so. Once again, make sure you come to curseforge.com and then go along the row of options and click on files. Now we want to find the same version. Once again, this is 1.20.2 and it's a fabric. So then click on the three dots and click on download file and it should then start downloading soon. Once it's downloaded, we now need to go and get Fabric, which we can use to run these mods. So open up a new tab and go and search for Minecraft Fabric, just like so, and then go to the Fabric website, Fabric here. And then what you want to do is go to the top and click on download. And I just like to go and get the universal jar. So click there and it will then start the download. So we can now go and close out of our browser just like this and you want to open up your file explorer then head over to the left and click on downloads. Now we've got the three files we downloaded so I like to go and select these and then put them on my desktop. So now what you want to do is we need to run fabric to go and install it. So all you need to do is double click on the fabric installer. Now what you should go and get is this pop up here. If you don't maybe a folder opens or another program does don't worry, this is likely because you don't have Java installed. So all you'll need to do is go and open up a browser again, and then you can go and search for Java like so, and go to java.com, and you can then download Java and install it. It's a super simple process. After you've installed it, then right click on Fabric, and you can press on Open With, and click on Choose Another App, and you can then choose Java TM Platform SE Binary, click on Always, and it should then go and launch. And if that still doesn't work for you, then you'll need to go and do something called a jar fix. And a jar fix basically reassociates Java and jar files. And we've got a full video on that, which I'll go and link in the description. It's super simple though. So once you've got the Fabric installer open, then once again, for the version, make sure you're using the same version as you got Lightmatica and Mali Lib for, which for me is 1.20.2 and then go and click on install like so, and it's now been installed. After it's finished, close off the installer. And now what we need to do is install the mods. To do that, just come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in run like this. And what you want to do is type in percentage app data percentage, hit okay. Your file explorer will open up and you need to scroll down and look for your mods folder. So if you don't have one, don't worry, I'll just go and show you what to do. All you need to do is right click and press on new and then folder and just type in mods, M-O-D-S, just simply like that, press enter and it's now been made. But you may already have one, but if you don't, you can create one and then double click into it and just go and move Lightmatica and Marilib into it just like so. Then you want to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. On the Minecraft launcher, head over to left of play and you need to make sure you've selected fabric loader like this and then go and click play and Minecraft will then go and launch. You can see in the bottom left, we're running fabric. Now let's get into a world. Then get into a Minecraft world and then to use Lightmatica and schematics, all you need to do is press on the M key on your keyboard and you can now go and get started with it. There is quite a lot to learn about Lightmatica and schematics, but this guide is purely just to download and install it. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like. 